Professional dancer Austin Farrell is literally dancing in the streets to help cheer up his neighbours in Enfield in London. The pandemic sent his industry into shutdown and so to pass the time, he's taken to performing elaborate routines in his road. Austin says it's keeping his mind occupied, his body in shape and his neighbours smiling. And I'm delighted to say he joins me now. Hi, Austin. First of all, can I just say thank you for making us all smile today? It's been a joy watching you. Um, How you did it all me. start? It literally started this time last year. Oh, I can see myself. Hi. Um, it started this time last year. I do little performances in, the, in my bathroom and post them on Instagram stories. And then all of a sudden, people took a liking to it and I'd go out into the street and then more and more neighbours would see and ask me to give them a knock on the door before I'd do it. <laughs> have the neighbours got involved? Oh, my God, the neighbours have been amazing. Every single performance, they're always dancing at the windows or on their doorstep. Um, we did a St Paddy's uh, number the other day. Uh, they had them dancing with flags. They're, they're amazing. Which have been <laughs> your favourite performances, Austin? I think... This weekend's one, The Greatest Showman, was my ultimate favourite. I got to dance with so many incredible friends again. And Tina Turner, definitely. Quarantina Turner, I hear you're calling her. There is a, there's a serious <laughs> side to this, isn't there? Because you're a freelance dancer yes. and you used to work on yes. Britain's Got Talent, The Masked Singer, but you haven't been able to work very much during lockdown. I mean, has this kind of kept your creativity alive? It has. It's, it's really made me think out of the box, want to try and keep occupied myself and then want to keep dancing and try and inspire others to keep dancing as well. It's been a tough time for a lot of us. So we're trying to do as many fundraisers, try and raise money for the arts and, yeah, trying to keep spirits high. One question I have to ask, how did you manage to get the road so quiet? Did you have to close it? To be fair, the neighbours, if cars do come down, sometimes they're all, no, sorry, there's a performance going on. But we, we live on such a quiet street, and if they do come, to be fair, many of them stop and clap, so... Are you itching to get back on stage for real? What would you like to be doing when lockdown eases? Just anything with loud music, a stage, lights, uh, dancing with my friends again. That's what I'd love. My uh, director has been asking, are you planning to take this on tour? She would love it if you could come to South East London. What do you say? <laughs> do you know what? A lot of comments say um, we'd love you to go on tour and stuff. So maybe one day I'll surprise someone. Have you been surprised by the, the following on social media? Because you you've had millions of views, haven't you? Oh, my God, I've cried so many times. Um, the love and the following growing has been insane. It's overwhelming, to be fair. Um, yeah, amazing. And just finally, do you think this has improved the community spirit in your neighbourhood? Did you know your neighbours before or has it really made a difference? Do you know what? We would wave to each other, but we didn't know each other's names. We wouldn't really speak. And then this really has brought everyone together. We do the performances. We have a little bit of a chat, obviously, socially distanced after. Uh, we keep up to date. We WhatsApp. We share um, presents at Christmas and birthdays. It's turn into such a lovely community. Well, thank you. You've brought a lot of joy to a lot of people. So thanks for joining us tonight, Thank you Austin. so much. Thank you.